Hey everyone, Julian here. Welcome back to episode three of the Learning Flask series. In this episode, you're going to be learning how to serve HTML. Um, in the last couple of episodes, we've just been returning plain text in our views, which is pretty boring, but it's important for you to understand that that's how it can be done. And in this episode, we're going to be actually doing something a bit more fun, and that's uh, using HTML. So let's jump into our screen and I do have a text-based version of this over at the website and I will chuck the link in the doobly-doo below. So let's head over to our local host, our Flask development server and we've got a terminal and we've got Visual Studio Code just how we left off last time. So let's go ahead and start up our app Flask Run there we go, our application is running and let's just double check that. We've got our admin pages and if we come back to our root, we've got hello world, which is exactly what we want. So we can go ahead and close run.py, we don't need it for now. We can close our init.py, we don't need it for now. And let's just work with these two folders. So serving templates, serving HTML files, how do we do it? Well. We need to create a new directory. So let's go ahead and we'll do it from the terminal. So let's jump into our app directory. And if we list that out now, you can see we've got our init.py, our admin views and views file. So what do we do? We're gonna create our templates directory and that's a standardized directory that Flask is gonna look for to find your HTML templates. So make directory templates and let's go into templates and let's just create a single HTML file called index.html. Helps if you tell your system to actually make the file. Right, so here we go, we can see you've got templates and we've got our index.html file. So let's go ahead and just add some very, very simple HTML. If you're using Visual Studio Code, you can um, do this abbreviation, just a apostrophe, exclamation mark, hit tab, and then it gives you a very basic HTML template. And we're just gonna call this index. And let's just stick something in the body for now. If you've never used HTML before, I highly recommend that you just learn some basics. I'll probably do a series on HTML soon, um, but for now you can just um, copy and paste or just write what I'm writing here. Um, just pause the video and go ahead and put that in. Or head over to the text-based version where you can come down and you can grab a snippet of this HTML that we're gonna write. So let's, uh, let's not do a P, let's do an H1 and maybe let's give it some color. Style equals color red. And let's just put index and then why not let's stick a paragraph underneath and say this is the index. Go ahead and save that file. So now we come back to our view. So we want to render that HTML template when somebody comes to the root of our URL, so or the root of our domain. So what do we do? Well, first things first, we need to import something from Flask. Now Flask comes with loads of useful functions and methods, and you're gonna be learning all about them throughout this series, but for now, from Flask, import, come on. Render template, and there we get a nice auto prompt. So we can go ahead and do that from Flask, import, render template. And how do we use it? Well, we use it just after the return statement. So we're gonna render template, and then we pass it a name, a file name of the template that we wanna render. So in our case, we're gonna go and put index.html. So someone's gonna hit this root, this function's gonna fire, and it's gonna return the render template function, and we've passed that the name of the file that we wanna render when someone hits this view. So. Let's test it out. And in first, first things first, we need to make sure our app is up and running. So let's just head back, make sure we're in the root of our directory, hit Flask run. 
and if we come back to localhost reload and there we go we've got a nice bit of HTML I mean it's not going to win any design awards but you know really it's just here to illustrate the point of how we work with rendering templates so it's literally as simple as that so let's quickly recap we've created the templates directory inside our application module and then we've given that a file called index.html and then in our views we simply import render template from flask and then use the render template function to send the file that we want to display so nice and simple um, but I want to do something a little bit different similar to how we've split up our views and our admin views we can structure our templates and our directories to be a bit more logical um, you know let's say we've got 20 30 40 or maybe even 50 um, HTML templates for our admin views and we've got you know another 50 for our public views or you know the front end of our website we want to make sure that we can access them and it just makes it more logical for us to work with so what are we going to do well let's do it from the terminal that's um actually no let's do it from here because i think it's just a, a bit easier to visualize so in the templates directory what we're going to do we're going to create a new folder and i'm going to call it public and we're also going to create another new folder and i'm going to call this admin so you can probably see where i'm going with this we're splitting up our templates into logical um sort of chunks that are going to match our views so let's go ahead and move our index.html file into public and then while we're here let's just um let's copy index.html select admin and let's um let's paste this file in here but we're going to rename it so i'm going to call this dashboard.html and then let's just go ahead and change the title and maybe let's change the color to blue and let's call this admin dashboard admin dashboard and then let's say this is the i cannot type today this is the admin dashboard cool right so let's just quickly recap what we've done we've created two subdirectories in our templates directory an admin and a public and any HTML files that we want to serve through our you know views.py file will stick in here any HTML templates that we want to serve through our admin views we're going to stick in this admin templates directory so again just splitting things up to make things a little bit more logical but what happens now if we try and run our app so flask run let's hit the index oh we get an error template not found and thanks to the uh, development environment we get this nice debugger and it's giving us a bit of information about where we went wrong so how do we fix this well head back into our views.py file and at the moment we're telling it to render the index.html template but as we know we've already moved this into our public directory inside the templates directory so all we need to do is provide it a path so go ahead public index.html and let's reload that and there we go that's rendering our template nicely exactly what we wanted and again you know if we do the same if we come to slash admin slash dashboard okay all right yep yeah, sorry no absolutely we are on track so um i just had a, a bit of a brain fart then for a moment so from flask import render template and let's go ahead and do exactly the same as what we did on index and let's change this to render template and it's admin and it's dashboard.html so go ahead and save that reload and there we go we get our nice html 
with our admin dashboard. So as you can see, breaking this up into something that's a bit more logical and easier for us to work with and understand, you know, the odds are if you're building an app, you're probably going to have some kind of administration section of the app, which is uh, you want to group everything together, keep it nice and organized and logical. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I'm just checking my notes to see if there's anything that I haven't covered. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So if you've got any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. I'll also go ahead and stick a link to the text-based article in the doobly-doo below. So I hope you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe. I've got many more videos coming soon and I will see you soon.